Okay, now if you if you're happy with the brush that you made, we can save it in a variety of ways, such as clicking up here, new brush preset, or clicking on the side here, new brush preset. Just give it a relevant name, appropriate name. You can capture the size. Add that. And now it's in the menu here. If you want to delete it, just hold Alt and it'll come up with scissors. You can delete it. And we can also, there's a tool preset. Tool preset will allow us to save the color and also save the flow. So to do that, window tool presets, come up with this menu here, and then new tool preset. And we can include the color. And now we have to I tend to use the tool preset menu rather than the than the brush menu. Not for any particular reason. I just prefer having this list. Now we can manage our set in the preset manager which is that but there's also another menu which is here preset manager and that that has a variety of things that we can choose but if it's brushes and with this you might just want to move things around you might want to have you know your main three here so that's what preset manager allows you to do. It allows you to delete them. Hold by alt, hold and clicking. We can also select our brushes on the fly by right click canvas. And that will allow you to also change the hardness on the fly. You might want to change size this way too. Yeah, you can see that's really and we also have different brush modes so these brush modes are found here and these work just the same way as our layer modes so you can experiment with these and the effect that they have you might want to put in some highlights so get some really bright spots get some cool effects happening so put it on perhaps color dodge and you can see it's got some pretty crazy effects and apply it differently than if you had it set to normal which would come out just this way just apply that color so you can experiment with that but know that this does give you an extra level of customization. There's also these features which are basically uh, fast access to clicking these features, opacity and flow jitter. We've got airbrush mode and pen pressure, uh, opacity, I think. Trying to get the tool too far. Yeah, anyway, I believe that's what it does. <laughs> oh, that's for flow, this is opacity here. Okay. Now, moving on. We want to look at hotkeys in action. So, the main hotkeys we want to think about is increase and decrease brush size, and that, that's just done by the square brackets. Uh, B to select brush and we can also set up actions so uh, you can see I've got this action here which is set to F10 and that switches to a brush which I deleted so <laughs> that doesn't work out but um, yeah, I'll just show you how to quickly do that, it's very basic just make a new action and actions is up here, windows actions 
a new action. Uh, call it round brush. Now we can set the hotkey. Just make it F9. Shift F9. Give it a color, red. Record. Now basically just choose round brush. Close menu. Stop stop recording. And now when you press shift F9, it'll select it'll select that brush. So it's a nice way to be efficient with the main brushes that you use. And yeah, that's about it. So uh, if you have more questions, just make a comment or email me at cam at howtodigitalpaint.com. Check out more videos coming out over the week, which I'll be discussing brushes more in depth, such as setting up custom brushes, uh, making up different sets and uh, different, different cool little things you can do with brushes. So this week, will be a focus on brushes so look out um, sorry for the quality of my voice in this video I'm really tired and my voice gets really croaky and yeah so hope that helped and thanks for watching